Fire. Of course. Oh. Someone is here. It must be Kadir. She's not a doll. Give her to me. That's enough entertainment. Take her. Hey, you guys. So what happened? You should be asking me that, Kadir, instead of them. Omer called me to come at once. Why didn't you tell me? You were with your friends for only one day. We didn't want to disturb you with these troubles, Kadir. Everybody's enjoying their lives. Oh, what do you mean, for Allah's sake, Miriam? Karem, why didn't you call me? I'm angry with all of you. Please don't say that. You are living the unpeaceful life that we live since we have moved here. We are so sorry, especially Fatma Ghul. Oh, shut up, stop! What's more important, Fatma Ghul or my husband in jail? I mean, aren't I right, Kadir? You came here at once, so please say something. What will I do by myself with these two children, huh? Karem goes to trial because of Veral's case. Veral is dead. His father and his mother are dead, too. Yes, I got the news. Miss Melton's father's dead. I really think this family's cursed. We're really cursed. How will we escape from this? Tell us. Have a seat. You came a long way. OK. How will my husband escape from all of this? Omer told me everything that happened in detail, and we will make a good counterclaim and defend ourselves. But on the other hand, Rami made a confession, and the only witness is Fatma Ghul. It makes everything difficult for us. Even if Erdogan Yasaran gets well, he's our enemy. We want him to get well because he's a human and he's fighting for his life. But Rami will be punished, which is unfortunate. We have one option. When Erdogan gets well, we need him to drop the charge. But that's impossible. Unfortunately, it is. Very nice. That was an enlightening explanation for me. Thank you. Karem, look at me. The Asarans have an ace in the hole now. From now on, we have to be more careful. Especially you. You have to control your temper. Being angry is not enough to stop. Them. Whatever. It's important that you understand. Magul, wait a minute. Wait. Look, I feel sad whenever I see you feeling sad. It hurts me. I'm not sad, brother. Look, if you're thinking about the things that'll happen after you get divorced, if you're afraid of being alone and you decide not to get divorced, I'll be there. I'll be there for you. You haven't slept yet. I'm going over some law books. I'm looking for a way out, but, well, it's tricky. We hit the wall again, didn't we? As long as the Yasserans are in our lives, we won't have peace. They flop down us like a curse. I get more angry when I talk about it. Anyway, so how is Antalya? It was good. Really good. Actually, I wanted to bring some things back. My wife's mother prepared them. Oh, are they living on Talia? I didn't know that. Yes, they live in Antalya. I learned about Rami when I was visiting them. Then I left the home at once, and I forgot the things that I was bringing to the family. That was so thoughtful of you. How are they? Are they well? Yes, they're fine. They're pretty old now. They got excited when they saw all of us. Would they... When they saw all of you, you went to see them with all of your friends? Mm -hmm. We went together. They know many of my friends and love them. Many of them. Yeah. 
And the visit was very important for me. They are extremely important to my life. We lived everything together. The darkness and the struggle, the defeat. I mean, they lost their beloved daughter and and I lost my beloved wife. One cannot imagine that he would stand up again when he is defeated. And how could he? He doesn't have the strength to lift up his leg. How could he take a step and walk towards a brand new life? But I, I think now, I started to have the courage gradually day by day. <laughs> ah, very good. I mean, I pulled myself together after becoming a family with you. I always say that, and now I can notice the new beginnings for me, thankfully. I long for a new life. I'm making decisions about the future now, and I wanted to tell them about all of that. Oh, how thoughtful you are. I wanted them to know that I'm very happy now firsthand. Oh, that's very good. You must be relieved now. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. That's very good, right? We have a lot of problems, so we need to hear something good sometimes. Listen, Kadir, we will always support the decisions that you make about your own life. We will never hinder you. But I... I don't separate you from my plans. No, no. You should plan your life how you want it. We won't live together forever, I know that. I mean, don't worry. We'll never make difficulties for you, I promise that. Uh, I guess you have misunderstood me. I don't know. I'm very tired, I really am. I have a lot on my mind, <laughs> I misunderstood. But it's obvious that we'll have enough time to talk about it in detail. Mm-hmm, we will. Do you mind if I excuse myself? I need to rest. Good night to you. Yes, good night. This wheelchair is excellent, Parahan, isn't it? She won't have to stay in the bed for too long. Of course. Oh, please don't cry, Parahan. Laman was not among the living after Veral died. She's at peace now. No, you are at peace. You both are at peace. Oh, Parahan. Parahan. 